And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode of Liverpool, latest transfer news, pre-match, post-match and match reaction. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you like this video, it would be very much appreciated. And as always, leave your comments in the comment section below and I will get back to every single one of you. So thank you very much everyone for tuning in. As you can see, and you've seen the title, Mbappe, I'll talk a bit about those rumours. He's been, obviously he's been linked again. He was linked a couple of weeks back, obviously, wasn't he? He's such a quality player. The whole team's around Europe. But I'll tell you about the latest rumour in relation to that and Jürgen Klopp and all that good stuff. Ho, ho, ho. But yeah, and I'll talk a bit about, obviously, it's, I'll talk a bit about not just Liverpool, but I'll talk about the Neymar transfer as well. I want to know your thoughts on it. It really, it's a, it's an issue really that's got to me, but I want to know your thoughts, obviously, the madness in football, but we'll talk a bit about that as well, obviously, and a post-match analysis, really. Obviously, I didn't do a video on the Atletico Madrid. I'll do that now, but let me know your thoughts on the Atletico Madrid match. I really want to know what you thought of the match. Obviously, it was a 1-1 affair against Diego Simeone's team. We didn't feel the strongest team. Obviously, it was only 24 hours after, obviously, the Bayern Munich. Amazing match. But the Atletico Madrid match, I thought it was very good. Obviously, it was a 1-1. We got beat on penalties. It's a pre-season match. But I, I, you're not going to come up against a harder team in Europe against a Park the Bus team. The tactics of Diego Simeone is the best manager in European competition. Like, especially even though that might have been Atletico's second string team that they played against us. But the lads, the young lads, especially on the pitch, done their best. And it was, obviously, it could have been a lot better display. But it's Atletico Madrid, everyone. We're going to be, hopefully, we... I'd love nothing better than to avoid them in the uh, Champions League. Because as I said to said to Aaron in a previous video, <coughs> excuse me, everyone, like, there's going to be teams in Europe that come at us, but they're the prime example of what a, pro, a bit, the, the best park the bus team that we'd come up against in the Prem. We've seen when we come up against teams that just sit back, banks of, two banks of four, and just sit behind the ball. It's, we find it difficult, difficult to actually break teams down, which hopefully with the signing of Saleh and Solanke and a couple of others, and Virgil van Dijk as well. We we can really beat that park the bus, but we'll find out the first game of the season next week. Come on! Oh, that's it's come around so quick, and it? But I want to know your thoughts on the match. It was, as it always, it wasn't the best match, but it was amazing to actually come up against the side and Diego Simeone and the, the amazing tactics, and obviously that manager is. Let me know. The thoughts on the match. It was your standout player. It was very difficult to actually pick. But for me, it was great. I I really rate it. If you haven't seen him with the videos, I'm bigging up Ryan Kent. I really hopefully think, I hope he stays at the club. But I think he can really have a very good season this coming season. But let me know your thoughts. Penalty shoots out. It was 5-4 to Atletico Madrid. Obviously, Hendo missed his pen. But chill, everyone. It's only pre-season friendly. But... Obviously, we would have liked to have won it, but we move on to, obviously, Dublin and the final Athletic Bilbao, our last game. And then we have got Watford for our very first Premier League game. And, oh, my Lord, I bet you can't wait as well. It's, uh, oh, so pumped. I am so pumped. I bet you use that as well to see Saleh, Mane, Firmino, Lalane, Coutinho, everyone back in action, and especially... Our forward line's going to be absolute lit. Uh, they're going to be tearing up the Premier League, especially playing away from home as well. We are going to be a counter-attacking very good to for the Salah adding into that quality, but we'll find out. And we go into every single game this season, not expecting to win, but we're, every single one of us, as always, use are absolutely amazing. And their fans around the world will get behind the heads and we will get three points against Watford. But I've got a pre-match video coming up like, this coming week and our thoughts. I've got so many shows planned. I've got a vlog coming out as well. But let me know your thoughts, as always, on the Atletico Madrid match. But shout out to everyone in Australia. I, I got a message through to shout out Australia. But nice one, everyone, for watching in, in uh, Australia. Hopefully you haven't quality weather. You probably are, as always, in Australia. I'm very jealous. But nice one, everyone, for watching in Australia and wherever you are in the world. Hope you're all having a cracking day. And thank you for tuning, out with it, tuning into my video. But yeah, literally touching on to the Neymar situation as well. Now, I'll, I'll talk about the Mbappe news very soon. But I want to know your thoughts on, on Neymar. 198 million. 
this is the money we're talking about in football now. Obviously, financial fair play, which does not seem to be in place. Obviously, FIFA tried to implement that, but it's absolutely ridiculous because you've got teams like City, PSG, Real Madrid, United, literally all the teams, even us, we were done to buy a nearly done to buy we were bidding 60, 70, 80 million pounds for players. But it's it's wad for me, obviously supporting Liverpool, but it's hard, especially when you've got teams in La Liga that can't compete, and especially teams in, in Ligue 1 that can't compete with the, the, the wages and the transfer fees. For me, it's gonna lose a lot of respect of this transfer. For me personally, it's gone away from what football is all about. It's it's gonna if that if that is the case and the way we're gonna be moving forward, I'll tell you what, there'll be a lot of people that walk away from the game. If you if you're being honest, how are, how are smaller teams, not no disrespect to them, but they've not got the wages and that or everything to com to compete with the highest cream of, of, of top players and top teams. So for me, obviously in La Liga, you've got the main three that get the whole, the main chunk of obviously this, the television deals and the rights, but that's why they keep on competing, those three. But in La Liga, they need to spread out the cost in the TV money and the revenue. Obviously in the Premier League, you've got um, the Premier League, They the, everyone gets a whole variety, a chunk of the deal in the Premier League, but that's not the case in La Liga. Obviously, we'll find out. Let me know your thoughts on the obviously the biggest pending transfer in world football. It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? But if that's the way the, the Premier League and everywhere is going to go, for me, I feel for the game. It's us as fans that will get affected. Rising television costs and sky packages and everything will go, at, even though they're already astro astronomical and they're ridiculous. Lots of people can't afford them. So it's a shame the pricing out the fans. And then you've got, if you're talking big transfers, that's even done a hike up the season tickets every single season and even travelling. If you're talking about away fans as well, it's, you're spending on hotels, train fares, bus, taxi, whatever, however you get to the away game. It's not just spending 40 quid, 50 quid. If you're going, that, I'm just talking Premier League games as well. You're talking about 50 quid on a ticket and then you're talking about basically a package, a whole package just to go to a one away game. That's why I love all the respect, every single away fan, whatever team you support, because it's ridiculous the amount of money you have to pay. And for me, football, if it's going in that direction, it, as I said, it will lose a lot of credibility from all our fans. And for me, I, I, I hopefully, I hope something sort, they sort out the financial fair play indications just, just for the, the lower down teams, and hopefully you, it's going to be a lot more easier. Give give the, the teams in League 1, League 2 the chance to actually potentially come into the Premier League. Don't freeze them out. Don't freeze them out. Don't freeze the lesser teams, whether that be La Liga, Serie A, Ligue 1, wherever, Bundesliga, Premier League, League 1, Championship, FIFA, if you're watching, you're probably not. But football fans in general, we need to unite together. And obviously, I'm not saying even if Liverpool spent 150 odd million on a on a player, I'd be fuming. For me personally, don't know how you feel, but for me, it's gonna come back to bite the Premier League and football teams in general if they carry on going in the direction is because it's it's affecting the fans. Yeah, it's good to see all the famous players and they might be backed by amazing billionaire owners. But not every club is backed by a billionaire that can finance and package all the players in. Because you just don't have your top league, obviously, and no one will be able to break into that unless the club, the club's lower, get invested by billionaires or millionaires with financial pockets deeper than any, anyone can actually reach. But let me know your thoughts on that. That's obviously Neymar, 198 million, yeah, 198 million pound deal that is potentially more or less looking like very close to happening. So let me know your thoughts. It's absolutely mad. And if Barcelona, if Barcelona get that, I'm telling you now, Barca, if you want 198 million and you want Phil Coutinho, give us every single penny of that money, please. That's the only amount of money that we'd accept. Obviously, I don't want Phil to go anywhere. But if Barcelona turn around, sell Neymar, the, the, I'm not, I'm not having Barca come in. I'm us. We're not going to have Barca. Putting in a, a 78, 80 million pound deal. bid. Lads in Barca, Hayadaki, you've just got 198 million for a player there. At least you can bid 150 or over. Where, for me as a fan, I'd expect FSG to turn around and say, right, I want every single one, bit, penny, 
fleece them for all they want if they dare come over to our club and actually unsettle our player. Because I tell you what, as much as none of us want to lose Coutinho, but if he was to go, that's how much we'd expect for him. Obviously, he's not a Neymar's level, but if you're talking financial fair plays, and Barca have been ripping off clubs all around Europe for years after year after year, taking all the best talent. So it's about I'm happy PSG had actually on that on that hand are taking one of Barca's top players. So nice one PSG. <laughs> But yeah, obviously, going into the final story of Mbappe, he was linked today. I'll leave the stories all down in the description. But it's another mad one he was linked with. Obviously, when he when you click on it, you'll be like, oh, yeah, here we go again. Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. It's one of the hottest prospects in European football at the minute. Obviously, he's only 18, 19. But the rumours are he's very, he's getting very unsettled in the way in which Monaco are releasing and getting rid of all their players. Obviously, got rid of M Mbappe. It, not Mbappe, M Menzi, obviously he's just sold him to City, and obviously the central midfielder, I've forgotten his name, he's just gone to Chelsea for around 30 to 40 million. Obviously, if I was a player and you were selling, and you're getting told to like, stay at the club, and they're selling other players, and you're seeing other player, teammates of yours getting sold when you're the one getting told to stay, it's a bit unfair on Mbappe, especially if he has the aspirations, as he probably does, of going to a high team in Europe, whether that be Real Madrid, Barca, even us. Hey. But, like, it'd be very, it's very harsh on the lad. But, let me know. Could you see that possibly happening? I, I, if we did sell Coutinho, that is the type of quality in which I'd expect us to go after. The, the, one of the hottest prospects and youngsters in world football we, we'd replace him with. Obviously, one's a striker, but Mbappe... He's a young lad. There's no doubt in his quality. Yet, yeah, he might have played one full season league on, But, tell you what, we've all seen players around Europe play one season and they've gone on to be absolute legendary players in world football. But let me know, how much would you pay for Mbappe if we did actually put a cheeky bid in? But let me know your thoughts on the Neymar situation, the absolute madness that's going around in football. Sorry for me a little bit of rant, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of years very much on the level of which all of us as football fans were struggling to actually to to pay to actually go to the match and like travel and there's a lot of away fans that I find that every season after season clubs are putting the tickets of season tickets yet they've got to grow but really give something back to the the fans who actually run like breathe, live and breathe as all of us do we we love our clubs and we want to see them succeed but at least give us something back the fans to like at least knock load a couple of, bit of bob, bobs of money blah, money off the season tickets at least. But we'll see where the game's going. I hope it's not going down the path in which I, I can see it going. But let me know your thoughts on the name uh, Mbappe. Where would you see him? Obviously, the Atletico Madrid final as well. I want to know your thoughts. And obviously, as always, everyone smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll get you all involved as well. I love every single one of you. Thank you very much for joining me on my latest episodes, everyone. I've got obviously a, blog, a vlog coming up as well. I went to a match recently with Medellin and I've got lots of content coming up this week. I want to get you involved. Get involved in the comment section below. I've got my Q&A as well. So if you've got any Q&A questions, leave them in the comment section if you want to know anything about me or you want to know anything about the future of this channel. I want to get you involved. As always, you mean the world to me, everyone. Every single one of you subscribers and everyone watching. If you're not subscribed, come on, enjoy this all. But thank you, everyone, and have a cracking day. All the best. Up to the heads, and you'll never walk alone. Come on, Ed.